Good morning, everybody. My name is Brendan Tulugan with Premier Flight Guide Service. Today we're out here with uh, Midwest Outdoors doing some goose hunting in Rochester, Minnesota. It's uh, middle of November here. We're finally getting some northwest winds. Got a little snow in the air. Migration is, is officially on, so we're pretty excited. Uh, we should have some good movement, not only from the town geese that have been here for a while, but also coming down, pushing from the north uh, to migration today. So uh, looking forward to it. Uh, we just saw our first geese of the day here. They came, must have been, we have a little gravel pond not too far behind us and they came through and they might be just doing a little water transfer. It's a little early in the morning. They gave us a half a look and, and kept going, but it's good to start to see the flight going. The biggest mistake I see a lot of new hunters make with their decoy spread is, is they just make it look like a decoy spread and set a real geese, which is easier to say than to do. So like your spacing, try to make it erratic. Um, a lot of times people will take a step, put a decoy down, take a step, put a decoy down, and they look back and they got kind of a grid thing going on. Um, I like to like imagine in my mind if I just like threw them all up in the air and they landed, that's where they should go. Um, you want to kind of make it look random. You know, have little groups here, and then maybe a little gap, put a couple here. Um, so just try to avoid that just very grid-like bulk. When it's windy like this, <clears throat> we like to have them all facing into the wind. Um, if they're facing the other way, that wind will blow up the backside of their feathers. They don't really like that. So when it's calm out, when there's not much wind, um, the direction your, geese, your decoys face, you kind of want to mix it up. But when it's windy like this, if you look at geese in the field, they're typically going to be all facing into the wind. There we go! Nice job, guys! Finally got some on the ground. Had three migrators come in, worked from way up in the sky and they gave us a good look, dropped all three of them. Feels good. Here's one, pretty cool. Smoked it twice, they're heavy. A shot shell we really like to use for these Rochester geese is the uh, Fast Steel 2.0 from Kent Cartridge. It's a super reliable shot. You're out here in the elements, you want to make sure you're delivering a consistent shot at the geese when it's time to shoot. It's manufactured with a high blend of powders, a uh, high performance wad that keeps that pattern tight at all distances. It's got a nickel plated head that resists the weather. When you're out in the elements like this again, you could be rainy, windy. Uh, this will make sure that when it's time to pull the trigger, you're gonna have a consistent shot. First saw them out here and then they just kind of cut across, you know, they're kind of coming from different angles now, which is good. These migrators, they fly high, so sometimes you don't want to look horizon. You look straight up and there's probably about 25 or so geese. They got out in front of us, they get on the calls pretty hard. Um, pretty common with migrators, you got to throw a lot of sound on them to get their attention. All right, last shot. That was a good one. They could come back around. We'll see. Yeah, they kind of split at the end there, though. So that was our only shot. Better than, better than nothing. That right, last shot, that was a good one. Back on the board. Finally got something in the afternoon. We had a, had a little group. We have a gravel pond back here. They came out pretty low. Kind of got in front of us. Didn't like they looked like they were going to do much. And then they finally decided to 
to give us at least a look, and they ended up sliding off our right side here. The guys on the end made a couple good shots, so we're gonna go pick them up now. It's been kind of a grind today. It was gonna be an all day sit. We knew that coming in. We got some early on in the morning and then we had uh, just had another group come in for the evening hunt. We've got five down. Actually ended up getting a leg band on one of these, which is a, kind of a prized possession here for waterfowl. So one of our clients will be going home happy today. Um, but it's been fun. It's been seeing a lot of geese, a lot of migration going on. It's kind of our favorite time of year. I'm Brendan Tulugan, Midwest Outdoors. We'll be right back.